Hi everyone, it's James here and today I'm going to unbox the Jane Davenport Mixed Media Range that was... Oh, hello. <laughs> Bianca's come to help. Don't bite. Save your claws for the box. Bianca's going to help me and we're going to unwrap the mysteries inside this box. So for anyone that doesn't know, I am a mixed media artist. Well, I'm a dancer, but <laughs> I like to dabble in mixed media. And this was sent to me by Jane and American Crafts as a part of the Davin party. So basically the design team that's going to take you through 2017 and show you what to do with this awesome stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what's in here. So just watch along. I'm just going to unbox today. I'm not going to swatch or do any of that crazy stuff. I'm also wearing my most colourful shirt today because it's appropriate. Jane loves colour and... I love colour and this box is full of colour, so let's see what's in here. I think I'm just going to uh, take it all out. You can always use paper. I've used paper as a photo backdrop before. It slays, so that's staying with me. Ooh. You know what? I should have taken a photo. I should have Instagrammed this stuff. I am the worst at social media. I'm not a part of my generation. Sorry, everyone. I'm so excited! This stuff floats my boat. Alright, goodbye box. Thank you American Crafts. Oh, I can't wait to get into that. I know that's watercolour because I am amazing at stalking on Instagram and I've seen it and I've been coveting it for as long as I remember first seeing it. Does it make sense? I'm being the most right now. I'm being ultra because that's what YouTube does to people. Alrighty. Like I just said before, maybe I edited it out. I don't know. Maybe this is the first time you're hearing it. I'm a grown man. I'm 26. And I have been obsessed with fairies and mermaids ever since I was... Hi. Are you coming up here to help? She wants to help and then she doesn't want to help. I don't know. Alright, this is collage papers. 32 collage papers. Ooh. They're like uh, printed serviette. So I'm assuming that goes with some of these collage mediums. Build up layers and kind of transparent stuff. I am wrong for getting this out. I will never get it back in. Watch me struggle. I'm bending it, so I'm not going to put it back in. Everything I touch, I'm putting back in the box. Collage papers. They look gorgeous. They look like they're going to work miracles. All right, this is a paper pad. You love paper? Don't do this at home, kids. Acid-free and archival sheets. There are 48. It's a paper pad. 8 by 9.5 inch. And it looks to die for. I mean practically the same thing. I love colour. I'm obsessed with colour. I can't wear enough of it. I have a rainbow heart. This is stunning. I mean, it, it almost looks like it's textured, but it's not. It's completely smooth. They just... I mean, whoever just photographed or scanned this and turned this into this gorgeous paper, kudos to you, because you did it well. Ooh, she's fancy. Swatches. I'm not a big swatch person. I'm going to try and do some interesting swatches. I think to me it's just like, I don't know, they look like little, like little squares. I love looking at them, I just don't really enjoy doing them. I don't think I've ever really swatched anything, to be honest. I just go hardcore and strong and wrong. I find out the hard way that I don't like a colour. And it's all over my painting. I love it. It's like a little facsimile of some of her journal pages. Like, gorgeous. I'm into it. I'm inspired by it. She's going in there. All right, next we have this, rub-on transfer sheets. This is throwing me right back to my childhood because I do remember these little paddle pop sticks and rubbing stuff onto like little rub-on artworks. All right, yeah, rub-on transfers. I'm super excited to see what I'll do with that because I don't know. Oh, swatches. Maybe this will make me love these little swatches. No, I do love them. They're colourful. How can I not love them? These are rub-on transfer sheets and they look 
really cool. I remember seeing this on Instagram somewhere, stalking these little faces, and I really, really like them. And now I know where they came from. All right, these little pencil journal girdle. A girdle is something I've never owned, and now I have two. They're cute. I, I'm assuming they go with these. So let's just look at all these together. This is a butterfly book. These are all, all four of these are butterfly books. So we have here, this is the butterfly book. Gorgeous mermaid on her. She is stunning. Oh, I just love all the colors. I'm gonna put one out. These three ladies, they're cute. Am I holding this right? I'm on like... And this one's blank, so I'm gonna have to put something on this one. It's so hard to be given a blank canvas. <clears throat> oh, it's hard. I mean, you don't want to stuff it up, do you? This is a book cover. That's cute. So I'm assuming this just goes on top of this? Look the same size? It looks like the same size. Yeah, used with the butterfly book. So these are the butterfly books. It's just a transparent kind of, it looks a little bit frosted. Um, with a, a little girl going like this on the front. So she'll be nice to pop out on there. I love all this layering stuff. Like, you know me, I can't put enough in a journal. I, I mean, I look for household items that I can glue down. <laughs> If, it's, if it can like fit, you know, this small, I'm gonna try and stick it in my journal. So this whole layering and like putting everything I can in there, that's my deal. This is a stencil and washi holder. Includes one stencil and one washi holder. So they look like flowers and I'm excited about that. I've never seen a little washi holder before, but from the looks of these, like apparently you can still washi like that. That's good because I'm a bit of an addict. I became an addict over Christmas. I was not an addict before Christmas and Santa arrived a few weeks early with some Christmas washi tapes and then I went nuts. So I now own about 4 million. This is another stencil and washi holder. Looks like geometric shapes for the stencils. And the washi holder, I'm assuming it's just the same as that one. I'm gonna get it out. I'm gonna get it out. Feel it calling on me to get me out. Free me! <laughs> Cute, you'll have to get one to see what that says. This is, I think it's like um, traveler's journals. I personally have never had a traveler's journal. I've just used like big art books as journals. And I've been wanting to get into it because I think this size is peculiar. I think I would love it. Sometimes I get really overwhelmed by like really, really large art books because there's a lot of space to fill and like, you know, I'm not working at my big desk anymore so it's hard to get all my stuff out and then be bothered to pack it away. But this is something I've been wanting to get into. So let's see how, let's see how it goes for me. Yeah, I, I can't figure out how to put it on just yet. I was never good at building Lego so I'm gonna have to figure out how to build this. But this is the cover and yeah, it's got, it's like a cute overlay. I'm pretty sure it's for this thing. It says use with butterfly book. It is. I'm an idiot. So, love that. These little journal girdles. Let's see. See, I'm getting into it now. Bianca, are you helping or not? I'm just gonna knock that camera over. I'm gonna no. Yeah. Figured it out. I figured it out. Ooh, wristlet. Love it. It's super cute, actually. This string. Ugh. My hand is not your string. Come up here and help me if you want to help. Okay, I'm obsessed with that. I love these. There are four. I'm probably going to need 12 more. Alright, put that in there. Oh! I'm like putting it away, but like I've finished. Uh, charms. Little charm sets. These are cute. Little charms. So I think they come with elastics and in different colors, different styles. She's going nuts. Get off, Bianca. Okay, yeah, no, these look cute. So I just another thing to add to my book. So that thing is gonna be hectic before I've even started putting stuff in there. Oh, here's some papers. It says used with the butterfly book. So I'm assuming these are just inserts. Uh, they don't look like they're bound or anything. I think they're just loose sheets. 
Oh, go to janedavenport.com for how-tos. So if I'm not explaining it well enough, there's a website out there that can help you. Help me help you. Just help you. Uh, so yeah, those are great. They look like marker papers. These are two are marker papers and this is a watercolour paper. Pockets. Use with the butterfly book. Oh, she's got a face. I'm not completely sure what I'm supposed to put in here. Maybe just little cards and tip-ins or maybe my stencils I can put in there. I don't know. I guess it's for me to find out. Maybe it's for me to put whatever I want in there and then realize later I've done it completely wrong. But that's art. Bianca, going nuts. Okay, stamps. This makes me realize I need an acrylic block because I've just been using an empty photo frame for the longest time. Not the frame, the little like plasticky bit, the glass part. It's plastic glass, it was from Ikea, so I don't know what it is. But uh, yeah, I'll need a block because these look amazing and like, yes, please, when I can't be bothered to draw, just stamp that in. Instant art, just add water or ink, I guess. There's such a distinct style to Jane's faces, so that is going to be handy to put in there for when I want to trick you guys and pretend that I'm Jane for the day. <laughs> oh, I missed these! These were the stencils. I told you about these. These were the stencils and the washi tape holders, and they are for the butterfly book. Everything that says butterfly book, it says down here, use with butterfly book, so, you know. I think that's it for the butterfly book. Confetti shoe. I love a good turn of phrase or wordplay, puns. Jane's got a slew of puns and different wordplays and I think they're all very clever and they've inspired me to come up with some of my own, but mine aren't good. So, yeah, confetti shoe. I think this is, um, I can't even say it without saying it every single syllable, confetti shoe. There's my good Australian accent coming back out. Uh, I feel like these are for these base paints, Jess O and Matt Medium. These are, will help you layer and build layers of transparency and I mean you can thin out your paints, you can add them to your watercolours and you know make different consistencies of your paints but yeah, this looks like it's a great way to add I don't know, like a little whimsical touch, I don't know, it reminds me of blocks, playing as, with blocks as a kid, like add it, like, oh, who knows, <laughs> who am I kidding, I didn't play with blocks, <clears throat> I played with Barbie dolls and here we are today. Um, Gesso and Matte Medium, those are base paints. They're matte acrylic paints, everyone loves matte acrylic paints. Uh, you can work on top of them super easy. So, hi. She really wants to play. Okay, give me a string. Ow! Get off my leg! All right, so this comes with uh, these gorgeous colors, which are going to be some of my favorites because I've already decided that they are. Uh, this comes with that down there. So you got those paints and a fish scale sc stencil, mermaid scale stencil. That's a tongue twister. And a brush. And these ones come with these colors, obviously. And uh, a face stencil and another brush. Water brushes. Who doesn't love a water brush? Literally changed my life when I first started using them. Uh, ink credible pen. This to me, I wonder. I'm assuming the ink is uh, waterproof, is the word? Because I did, I, I mean, I still use it, I still use Jane's Epic Pen, uh, which kind of is the same deal, it's a fountain pen with these little cartridges, so, and that has carbon ink, if I'm remembering correctly, and uh, it's super great, and I love it. So if this is just that, but it looks a little different, because that one tapers down to a long skinny point, if this is that, then this is something everyone needs. And not even if you're, I mean, just for life. Like, just use this, sign your checks with this, um, write cards to your teacher with this, I don't know. But this has been my favorite pen ever since I started using it. So I hope that's exactly the same. Uh, it seems like it is. This has a converter too, so you can put your own, uh, your own little inks in it, I guess. Incredible pen, love it. Washi tape. All right, let's visit the obsession for a second. This is insane. Who doesn't love getting washi tape? Like, even if you just keep it in your butt, like, put this on your shelf next to a candle. I mean, hi, that's decorating. These are great. I love these. I mean, I can't have enough of these, I reckon. 
This has got faces in it, build your own face. Everyone loves to play that. I mean, we did it as kids, that flip book. Different eyes, different nose, different mouth. Love that. These are journal tapes. So it looks like some of them are a little blank. Maybe they're for doing your own doodles. Then there's like black and white sketches on some of them. Yeah, I, you'll see me go through these. The, these will last like, what, 20 minutes? Ah, uh, mermaids, unicorns, fairies, everything I need. Cute little quotes. And these look like rainbow watercolors. Like more of those swatches everyone's gonna think that I hate. I don't hate swatches. I should never have said it, because I'm not even gonna be able to edit it out now. Uh, yeah, so these are great. Rainbow, like my heart and my shirt. These are little journal tape strips, so... I don't think they're like full rolls, I think they're a little shorter, but just... Alright, so... Video cut out, don't know why. So we're picking back, we're picking up where I left off, and I think it was washi tapes, so... But we should all get into these, because these are great. I don't know anyone I don't follow on Instagram that wouldn't want these. Everyone I follow on Instagram wants these, already has these, so... Yeah, if you love colour, or anything fun... You're missing out if you don't get them. Alright, I don't know if I talked about these, maybe this cut off, but these are the watercolour sets. So, uh, I'm gonna love these, and I love gold. Bit of luxe in your life. Uh, so, these are the watercolour sets, there's a bright, and so then the neutral. Is it called neutral? Yeah, neutral. I'm gonna find a way to attach these permanently to my body, and hopefully I never have to live life without them again. So, really excited to get into those, and think of an interesting way to swatch them. <laughs> These are magic wands. I already opened them, sorry. I mean, I, like, to be honest, I'd finished this video until I realized I hadn't actually finished this video that half it was missing. So, I can't wait to use them. Everyone knows that, you know, products are different and people have preferences and, I mean, I generally just trust that Jane's stuff is great because she's never led me wrong before. <gasps> I just got them out of order when I was closing it. No, I don't know how they go! <laughs> Mermaid markers. So, I've been waiting for these since I was like two, I think. Yeah. That's how long I've been waiting for these. So, I love uh, watercolor, what are they called? Water brushes. And these are basically just water brushes filled with this pre filled watercolor brush pen. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's ready to go. Like, I don't even have to find the color, it's right there. And I was saying before, before it cut out, uh, Blue Bottle. I'm a little homesick at the moment, I'm in California, so... I mean, I live here now, so I shouldn't be homesick, but I miss Australia. And, uh, these names just bring me back. Like, nothing brings me back quicker than Blue Bottle. That is just so relevant to every time I went to the beach. And what used to annoy me has now made me homesick, so... Uh, yeah, I'm loving that. And I'm feeling the affinity with Jane's Australian inspired. Uh, I want to say it was Australian inspired. Jane's Australian, so... It's gotta be. Yeah, I'm feeling it. I really can't wait to get into those markers. Uh, this is a tassel. <laughs> no, this is a pencil case, and it's an interesting fabric. It's like a... I want to say it's like one of those reusable um, shopping bags. So, yeah, the colour is so vivid. I'm so into that. I need, whoever makes this, like, whoever makes prints with all these colours, I'm looking for shirts like that. I don't care if it's in the same material, like, just make it a button down and I'm ready. Uh, this is the, uh, books, and these had their little journal jacket. This one here, it's all about, oh, it's not about the destination, it's all about the journal. Get it? Uh, yeah. Jane is clever. So this goes on that, and I'm assuming if it fits that, then it'll fit this one, and it'll fit this one. So these are great. I love this one. Plain, beautiful colors, very vivid. And uh, this one is a, like literally a plain one, sorry. Uh, and this one I feel like you can design your own on top. I really like it, white. I mean, it's really pretty, but to be honest, when I work, I'm really messy, so it's probably gonna get damaged, and I'll probably wanna cover it with um, anything I can, be it household item, cat, um, oh, maybe I'm just covering in fur. <laughs> I wouldn't. I might. 
Uh, so yeah, this is just a plain one, and I've opened these up and had a feel of the paper, and it does not surprise me. It is nice heavy duty, there's a nice fine tooth on it too that'll really grab the product, especially like pencil and pastel and stuff. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it doesn't surprise me. Jane loves good paper, so this good paper. I'll let you know when I'm working on it, how I feel. But yeah, but these, gorgeous. Like, there didn't need to be an illustration right there, but there is, so that's a bonus for you and for me. <laughs> uh, you can put your name in there, I guess, or maybe just a portrait of me or Jane, or yourself. Yeah, love that. This, they're all printed so vivid. And this is the big version of that journal. So, um, yeah. This is what I'm all about. This is what I signed up for. I know I just said some mad speech about journals being big before and they're intimidating, but like, then I felt this one and I thought, well, this is what I wanted. Yeah, oh, it's hardcover. I mean, that's just so luxe to me. Just a hard-covered, like, good paper. I love it. And this is the cover for that. Let's get it all back out. Alright, that's it. And, uh, so this is the Jane Davenport Mixed Media Range. Uh, it's available at Michael's or on janedavenport.com. What, what more is to say? I love the colour, I love the range, I love that there's new stuff in there that I haven't really seen before. You know, at Michael's or any kind of craft store. I mean, the packaging's gorgeous, the colours are insane. It's just so well thought out and well thought through, and I think it's given me a great starting point to uh, leap off into the new year with creativity. And I can't wait to put some of this stuff together and try and find interesting and unique ways to share that with you guys. Uh, if there's anything you really want to see, or maybe you've been inspired and you want to share that with me, head over to Instagram. I'm uh, James Luke Creative on Instagram, and yeah, we'll see. Bye. That's what's the most embarrassing part. I am going to show everybody. I'm just going to be so charismatic right now, just so you're not shocked. Get in your room. <laughs>